been a while since I film, filmed my last video, but we just have a puppy, so we don't have much time left for other things like crochet tutorials. She's now asleep, so I film a quick tutorial. So today we make this Eliza call cowl. This is my favorite type of scarf. Fun and easy to make and beautiful to wear. It looks difficult, but it's a three row repeat. What do we need for this project? We need two balls of Fanner's Choice in the color of your choice uh, or any number three yarn of your choice. I used a five millimeter H8 crochet hook, a pair of scissors and a tapestry needle to weave in the ends. The pattern is written in US terms and the cowl is 30 inches wide and 10 inches high. So let's get started. Okay, we start with a slip knot on your hook and then the pattern is in multiples of three. I'm not going to show you how to make the total cowl, i just show you how to uh, make the stitch pattern so you can adjust the cowl to your size. The rhythm pattern is in the description box. Or the link to the, the rhythm pattern is in the description box, so you can read along if you need some extra explanation. So, I make 15 for this sample. So, you have to chain the multiples of 3. So, I make 15. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5... 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So if you make your, uh, your chain, you need to make it as long as your... Uh, you need to spread your arms and your chain needs to be as long from fingertip to fingertip. So, and for me, uh, that is about 60 inches. So we make are 15 and then close the chain with a slip stitch. Make sure your chain isn't twisted. So make a and close your chain with a slip stitch. Now is mine pretty small of course but yours will be much bigger. So you have a 30 inch or 60 inch, about 60 inch loop. Okay, and then single crochet in the first chain from the hook. So we use the back bumps. So you see the V here and here where you normally put your hook, insert your hook, but now we turn it over to the other side and then you see all those bumps and we insert in that bump. So in the first stitch insert your hook and make a single crochet. Then chain three. One, two, three. Skip two stitches. One, two. And in the third we make a single crochet again. Chain three. One, two, three, skip two stitches, one, two, and in the third we make a single crochet. Chain three, one, two, three, skip two stitches, one, two, and in the third we make a single crochet. Chain three, one, two, three, skip two stitches, and in the third we make a single crochet. Now I have two stitches left, so chain three again, one, two, three, and close your round with a slip stitch in the first single crochet of your round. And there's your round one done. For round two, we make a slip stitch in the first chain three space, so insert your hook, pull up a loop, and pull through the loop on your hook and then chain three one two 
three. This chain three counts as your first double crochet. Then work two double crochet in the same chain three space. So two, two, pull through two, and another double crochet in the same stitch in the same chain three space. Okay, we now have three uh, double crochet in this chain three space, and we make three double crochet in every chain three space around. So one. two and three and in the next one two and three and in the next two spaces also three double crochet in the chain three space one two and three and in the last space also three three double crochet two and three okay and make a slip stitch in the third chain one two three from the beginning chain three to close your round slip stitch and then your round two is done for round three, we make a crossed triple crochet between the groups of double crochets. So you see three double crochet and three double crochet. And in between these two, we make a crossed triple crochet. No. So yarn over twice. I need some more yarn. Otherwise it's work okay yarn over twice then here is the first your chain three from the beginning of the previous round and then the two double crochet in this first chain three space so this is your first group of double crochets so insert your hook in between the first and the second group of double crochet pull up a loop yarn over pull through two yarn over pull through two and yarn over pull through two don't make this stitch too tight otherwise your work will will be too tight okay chain one and then yarn over twice again and now you go to the back behind the triple crochet you just made and then in from front to back in between the first group of double crochet and the last group of double crochet yarn over pull up a loop yarn over pull through two pull through two and pull through two this is your first crossed triple crochet let's do that again yarn over twice here is this is the first group of double crochet and the second group of double crochet so in this space between these two groups of double crochet we make the first triple crochet and then we go back and make a triple crochet in this space again it's where we just made the first triple crochet of the previous cross triple crochet so first in this space then back to this space and then in this space back to this space so yarn over twice we need insert a hook in this space between the two groups of double crochet pull up a loop yarn over pull through two pull through two pull through two then chain one yarn over twice again and then behind the triple crochet and in between from front to back in between the two groups of double crochet pull up a loop yarn over pull through two pull through two and pull through two and you made your second cross crossed triple crochet one more time yarn over twice move to the next group so we made the first triple crochet from the previous stitch here so we now need to 
use these two spaces. So yarn over twice, insert your hook in the next space between the two double crochets, the two groups of double crochets, and finish your triple crochet. Then chain one, yarn over twice again, go behind. So behind and then between the two groups of double crochet and pull up a loop, pull through two, pull through two and pull through two. We now made a couple of crossed triple crochet stitches. We need a couple more. So yarn over twice to the next group of three and in the space between the groups of three double crochet we make a triple crochet then chain one yarn over twice again and then we we just made a triple crochet in this space between the two groups of double crochet and we now need to make it in this space so go behind your triple crochet and from front to back between the two groups of double crochets and finish your triple crochet. Okay, repeat this until the end of your round. So yarn over twice, insert between the next group of double crochets, finish your double triple crochet, chain one, yarn over twice again, go behind your triple crochet and from front to back to the through the space between the groups of triple crochet double crochets and finish your treble triple crochet okay we're now finished our round we have finished our round so we need to close our round with a slip stitch in the first stitch of this round and now your round is done so you see the crosses on top of the three double crochets okay round four is a repeat of round one but then we uh, in this round we made our stitches in the beginning chain and now we make our stitches in between the crosses so we chain one and make a single crochet in the first space before the crossed triple crochet and chain three one two three make a single crochet in the space between we have here a crossed triple and here a crossed triple and in between we make a single crochet in that space single crochet then chain three one two three go to the next space between the Two crossed and in that space we make a single crochet and chain three one two three and in between the two crosses a single crochet one two three single crochet between one two three and we finished I finished my round, you need a lot more stitches, single crochet in the first, uh, slip stitch in the first single crochet. And this is your repeat. So we repeat this as many times as, um, as necessary to uh, reach your desired height. I repeat this until my work measures 10 inches. Um, and I end with um, with a round two, so that's the double crochets. That's your last round, and then you finish your your cowl with a round <coughs> four. So that's this this round. 
three single of uh, three chain three single crochet chain three single crochet so your this edge is exactly the same as this edge so it looks like this on each side so keep working so you see the three double crochet the cross and then the chains three double crochet across the chains three double crochet and so on so keep working until your work measures about 10 inches or any size you like and then you end with a round two and then finish your work with a round four on top of the last round then bind off weave in your ends wrap your cowl and enjoy wearing it if you like this tutorial please give me a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do that it makes me very happy and click the notification bell so you never miss another video so thanks for watching see you next time bye bye